DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Speed ramping your footage in DaVinci Resolve 20 is a little bit different than it has been in the past, so I want to quickly show you how to do it in the new version. It's not that different to begin with on how to set your speed points. Let's say you got this far into your video and you wanted your speed ramp to start right here. Much like in the previous version, just right click and turn on the retime controls. And with the playhead where you want it to start speeding up, click over here on this downward facing arrow and let's add a speed point. Then you can scrub through to where you want that speed ramp to stop, do the exact same thing and create another speed point. You can click on the bottom of them to move the location where they are in the footage. And just like before, when you left click and hold on the top of them and pull them closer together, what that's going to do is increase the speed between those two speed points. And when you pull them farther apart it's going to slow down that speed and once you've got your speed points set and you like the look of what's happening just go to the upper left and click on the keyframes editor window now you'll see at the very bottom there are keyframes added for speed points along the way in the read time speed we want to make sure that we have this curve enabled and if we do we just need to go to the upper left click on that downward menu and choose keyframe curves this is much like what we used to see in the spline menu in the lower right, but now it's up here and we've got a lot more control. Now we can pop this out by clicking right here and it'll give us the entire keyframe editor in a pop-out window. Because we have that line selected, you can see the curve menu up here. If I click that off, you wouldn't see anything. If there happens to be some other things that are selected in here and you don't want to see them, you can individually turn them on and off. So we're only focusing on the read time speed and there's our two points. If I were to put this over my footage, this change in speed represents that first speed point and this second change of speed going from fast back down to slow represents the second one. But if we want the speed to ramp and not just be a brick wall where it goes from slow to fast and fast to slow, we can left click hold and draw a box around both of those keyframes. And in the upper right, let's choose ease in and out. And you'll see it immediately creates a curve with handles on both speed points. Now we can left click and hold and we can stretch these out to create a longer speed ramp so it slowly moves up to that faster speed and do the exact same thing on the other keyframe, stretching that out so that it goes from fast back down to slow a little more slowly. And your playhead is actually up in this window so you can actually pull the playhead back and take a look at what's happening happening on your footage. And what's cool is if we're in the default pointer mode, we can just grab the top of this speed curve and we can lift it up and increase the speed right inside of the keyframe editor window. Now, if you switch over to the add keyframe option, you can start adding in more keyframe points right along your curve just by putting your cursor where you want, left clicking and adding a speed point. This feels a little different than before, but it gives you a lot more control over your speed ramping to do whatever you want in your footage.